I get to listen to Countess of Low Carb, but on this episode, we're gonna talk about how do you do budgeting with the keto diet. Coming up next. Hey, it's Elizabeth, Countess of Low Carb, and on this video, click the like button, click subscribe, we'd love to see you for other videos, but I'm the Countess of Low Carb, and if you don't know me, it's nice to meet you. I'm a mom to a two-year-old and an amazing wife to an amazing husband, um, most of the time, <laughs> and those are my most important titles, but my other titles are being a serial entrepreneur of multiple companies and very successful companies at that. So I'm grateful you're here today. Um, my two-year-old son may be buzzing in and out because, yes, it's hot. It's cooking with this little baking oven. Um, so I'm a mom, and so working this whole keto thing while being a mom and having a partner that I also cook for, um, most of the time cook for him, um, it's how I do it. I've lost 50 pounds with a ketogenic diet, and I'm going for round two to lose another 50 pounds. But I wanted to talk to y'all today. This video is a collaboration with Colorful with Dory. I'm gonna put her description link below. Dory has the most amazing recipes, concoctions, ideas. She has like unicorn sprinkle coffees and botany. Dory has Colorful with Dory. I'll click below. It's for you United States people. There's an extra you in there that we're not used to in Colorful. So I'll put the description link below. I highly recommend her channel. I highly recommend her Facebook and her Instagram. And so this video is a collaboration and I needed to get it filmed. And so hence the reason why my sweet little two-year-old is with me. I have top tips as to how to do the ketogenic diet on a discount. One, number one is discounted meat. I talk about this a lot in my Aldi hauls and I'll put the cards up below for my Aldi hauls of where I get meat at a discount at Aldi. And the Aldi meat is not gross. I used to think it's gross. It's not gross at all. It's actually delicious. It's not gross. It's actually delicious. And I get, they have, um, sometimes on Wednesdays, sometimes on Tuesdays, sometimes on Thursdays, it does, it really varies quite frankly when they discount their meat, but it's discounted meat. And so it's these stickers that are dollar off, $2 off, and that's when I'll buy my meat because it's when the expiration date on the meat or use by date is coming up and I'll simply freeze it. Okay, another tip to do is eat eggs. We incorporate our cage-free organic, the humane ones, people have called me out on it, make sure that they're cage-free humanely, there should be a stamp on them. Um, Make sure that you eat or incorporating eggs. Eggs cost what two to three dollars for the organic cage free humane ones per dozen. We incorporate that, we'll buy a dozen, two dozen per week for our family of three. Um, for my son's um, meals for school, for his daycare, I definitely use eggs, boiled eggs for him every single day, almost every single day, um, as a snack for him. So he's getting high protein. But for my husband and I, we love hard boiled eggs. You can make hard boiled eggs in my curry salad, which I have another video for. Um, but they're awesome to have on hand as a grab. Sometimes I just want to grab things um, if I'm in a hurry, which a lot of us are, and it's an easy, quick snack of having hard boiled eggs all set in the um, refrigerator for you, or to make scrambled eggs, or um, you know, eggs over easy. I feel like I'm bubble gum. And shrimp gumbo, shrimp, <laughs> fried shrimp, um, but for eggs, you can do so many different things with them that I encourage you get a dozen, get two dozen, and use them up per week. Very, very inexpensive way to get really high protein and very filling also without spending an arm and a leg. Okay, so the next thing is to parcel out your big packages of meat. So I don't need, say I buy a $30 pack of scallops. I don't need that entire scallops at one sitting. We parcel it out for separate meals. So maybe it's a third of the $30, which is $10. And we make that our meal, add on a keto vegetable, and add on, say, pepperoni or some other um, protein, and obviously high fats with that. Because keto is high fat, moderate protein, low carb. My other tip is that setting a budget per month for you for groceries. So for our family, we have a specific number, a specific denomination that works really, really well for our family, for our cash budget that allots for weekly grocery shopping and then when I buy meat bundles, basically, at a discount. So I would encourage you, for your family, get a set grocery budget and a set, like, an additional meat budget to help um, with your family budget. For us, it saved us so much money being very clear of, like, here's the amount I'm supposed to spend per month on groceries. Have I gone over? Have I gone under? If I've gone under, what can I use that budget towards? My husband just got home from work. So my final tip is about eating out. If we like to eat out, we like to eat, we do like to eat out, and we put that in our family's budget. And some of the ways that we eat out is eating at restaurants that don't have waitresses, such as Chipotle. In our coaching group, we talk a lot about Chipotle hacks for the keto diet. There's so many Chipotle hacks that you can do. But eating at like Panera, places like that that don't have waitresses to tip on top of, um, and the taxes on top of that as well. So that's one of my tips for eating out. My other tip is I get discounted gift cards, like Rite Aid, for example, sells discounted gift cards. 
and I will buy those like BW3s. So when we do choose to go out to a restaurant that has a waitress, I'll use my discounted gift card to go there. Um, but also using coupons with that. So IHOP, for example, in our area has a children's eat free. It's every single night, which is amazing. So we go, then I'll use a coupon. Sometimes you can use a coupon with kids eat free. Usually you can't, but we'll get the kids eat free or use a coupon. And then I'll use my discounted gift card. So it's way, way cheaper. Um, we've gone out a couple nights where our whole family has eaten. And with all of my like discounts and stuff, it was $13 for the meal with a waitress. It was awesome. I was so proud of myself. I'm like, yes, winning. Um, but if you go to IHOP, make sure you don't get the omelet because the omelet has pancake batter in it to make the omelets fluffy. Yes, and I'm discovering that more and more places for their omelets put some sort of filler or flour in them to make them fluffy too. So be careful of omelets, ask for just craft eggs. So those are my tips. This video, Dory, you know I must love you colorful with Dory because I've tried and tried and tried all day to get this video done. It is now literally dark outside. It's way past my bedtime, but <laughs> I was determined to get my collaboration video, Colorful with Dory, out. Go check out her YouTube channel, her Instagram, her Facebook. It's down below. Also, if you're interested in coaching, it's kind of somewhat of a Weight Watchers, all the Weight Watchers, but for the keto diet, um, we have a 21-day challenge. Um, we have a monthly membership where it's super, it's less than a meal out at Panera to join our coaching monthly membership. And the first couple of weeks are free. So um, again, click like or subscribe on this video. would love to see you again on Counts of Low Carb, Lost 50 Pounds, on the journey to lose another 50 pounds. And those are my discounted tips. So my question to you is, what is your discounted tip? Put in the comments below, what do you like to do for discounts for the keto diet? These are just some. I have more coming. I'm going to be having another whole edition of, this was just part one. There's going to be a part two coming up on more discounts of how we do the keto diet, but it doesn't have to cost an arm and leg. It can, and I have certain ways if you'd like to splurge to have it cost an arm and leg. But um, working within a budget, it does not have to be super expensive to do this way of eating. So wishing you guys a powerful day and talk to you later. Bye. Really? She's really hesitant. Really?